Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Today, our reflection is simply this. Tell me more. Tell me more. When you're talking with someone and they share something about their life, look at them and say, tell me more about that. When someone shares a pain or a struggle, pause, feel what they feel and say, tell me more. When somebody shares a great thing that happened to them, instead of thinking in your mind, well, isn't that nice for you to have such a great life but I don't get that, just say, tell me more about that. Those words are powerful. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 18, verse 13. To answer before listening, that is folly and shame. To answer before listening. You ever been in a conversation and someone else is talking, they're saying something, and you're planning what you're going to say next? You're going to jump right in there and you're going to either one-up them or say something really profound and insightful or, or you read something recently and you're going to unload on them this thing you've learned. And, and you're not really listening, you're just thinking about your answer. To answer before listening, really listening, really paying attention. That is folly and shame, Proverbs 18, 13 says. And so today, here's the encouragement. Listen more attentively. Tell me more. Can you share a little bit more about that? Ask people to go into greater depth. And if you find yourself planning your response, just let it go. Have a good human interaction and ask for more, listen more, learn more, ask good questions. And then think about this, Jesus, when he walked on this earth, Jesus loved asking questions. He asked a lot of questions and sometimes when people asked him a question, he wouldn't even answer, he'd just ask them a question back, a very rabbinical response. But learn to ask more and more questions and then when you do answer, answer with wisdom. Say, God, give me wisdom before I speak. And answer with wisdom. One of the pastors at our church here at Shoreline Church is Pastor Dennis McFadden. Dennis has a background in counseling. He oversees our care ministries. Dennis is a great conversationalist because he listens really well and he asks a lot of questions. And here's one of the pieces of advice he gives to people that want to become a better communicator with the people in their life. He'll say, before you answer, ask at least three questions of the other person going deeper. Tell me more. What about that? Give me some more detail there. Ask at least three questions before you take your turn to speak. For some people, that would feel like torture. You just want to say what you want to say. But try it. This week, in your next conversation, when somebody shares something and you find yourself getting ready to respond, don't. Ask another question. And as they share that, you really hear them and ask another question. And another question. You might find yourself after that actually wanting to ask another question because you're becoming curious about their life. Tell me more. Ask good questions and see what God does in your relational world. Living God, this is our prayer. That we would listen well to the people in our life. That we would ask good questions. That we would invite people to tell us more so we can learn their story, their joy, their pain, their confusion, their insight, their wisdom. God, let us ask good questions. Let us not be foolish and seek to answer before we've really even heard what someone else has to say. Help us to walk in this kind of wisdom. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, blessings on you. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you this Sunday morning, 9 o'clock and 11, both online and on campus. If you're part of another local church anywhere in the world, be part of your church. Be part of the body of Christ. You're valuable. You're needed there. God bless you. Have a great week.